right, so we'll go back to this reflection layer and, and move our highlights. Pull our highlights onto that black, create a new layer here. So on top of the reflection now, we want to create this, this hard white edge. And what I'm going to do is with my airbrush, I'm just going to go in and, and kind of, you know, get this airbrush all over the place. And it's kind of going over my, my nice crisp black lines. But again, I'm, I have that white reflection layer. And kind of just give some, you know, pick, pick a couple hot spots and, and add, a, add a little bit of extra white there. And just go get that hard eraser. You want to have that nice hard crisp line. And just start erasing. Kind of get that nice, real nice definition. It starts to look plasticky. And then with the soft eraser, just, just to kind of blend that, that white area into the strap material a little better. We'll jack the reflection up. And now you can see the, the depth and the, the richness of that black color kind of showing through. and I've gone to my lines layer and here I'm just starting to add a little bit of white some white line definition because if, if I create white lines underneath my line art then all the black lines from my original sketch kind of won't show through so this is always better to if you have any white lines, kind of have that all the way to the top layer. Therefore, you kind of see, you get to kind of see all those white lines. But just kind of adding a little bit of a, a little bit of a pop, right on that edge where the white meets the black. Kind of gives it a little bit more plasticky and and shiny look, just by hitting that, giving that light source a little bit of a edge there. Just do this throughout. And again, this all this all this work is done purely purely by hand. There's no um, no stencils, no rulers. You know, this is all freehand for the most part. And this just this is real quick, um, real fast for me. I can do renderings for for many hours, but in order to get kind of the idea and the concept across, this is the quickest way for me to for me to do it. Right now on the on the rubber, on that rubber material, kinda of want to show like that high highlight, that top highlight edge, just adding a little bit of white to that. And here you can kind of change the pencil size, a little bit thicker, more white gets placed down. You also have a few more. You can set your undos to about 30 maximum in this program. And uh, in Photoshop, it's it's a little trickier. You have one un undo, but you can go back into the. You can go back a few steps, but you kind of lose a lot of stuff if you do that. I'll just add a few more little <laughs> white highlights here. So you use the eyedropper tool and just kind of pick, pick shadows of color, shades of color that you like. Now I'm just going to add some detail to these laces, just so almost like there's like a color edge. So it's not just a solid white lace, but you kind of have like a, a two-tone um, lace. Gives a little bit more of a realistic, realistic look more of an athletic athletic look to these uh, oval performance la laces and I'm just doing it with the colors I have here now which is just the black and the red so I just thought red would be a little too much so I'll just go with more of like a, a light 